Greetings to each and every one of you, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say, Vigates to you, Damen und Herren. Now, for those who don't know me, just call me Teacher Fred or Lera Fred. Now, in this video, I'd like us to go ahead and handle a part about uh, your lesson. I like bringing this video to ensure that uh, we are constantly practicing on our skills, whether it is reading, writing, uh, speaking, or listening to the German language, right? Now, let me go ahead and request you just to take a moment and uh, like this video. If you find value in this video, kindly go ahead and like it, share. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Now, let's now go ahead and have a look at the question that has been given unto us. Look at the instruction. Lies bitte die zwei, an, uh, lies bitte die zwei Anzeigen aus der Zeitung, which now means read the two advertisements from the newspaper. Read the two advertisements from the newspaper. And then they've given you um, advert A and uh, advert B. So let's begin with advert A. Now, I would also kindly request you to read from your end as this enables you to practice um, your reading skills, right? So look at how it begins, that Anzeige 1. November, uh, November Zone, by der Bahn. Für nur 29 Euro, quer durch, uh, durch Deutschland. Vom 1. November bis zum 11. Dezember Reist du im Fernverkehr für nur 29 Euro. Alright, let's now go ahead and break it down real quick. Now, from this, uh, uh, from the information provided here, you can see they're talking about some um, some trips they are offering you for some certain amount of offers. So it's basically about some offers regarding trips, right? So November uh, November Zone by der Bahn for only 29 euros through Germany. Right, remember it's through Germany. Uh, from the 1st of November up until the 11th December, you'll be able to travel. You'll be able to travel the long distance, you know, these long distance, um, long distance trips for only fewer nur 29 euro uh, through German, all through German. Sogar im ICE, sogar im ICE, specifically that is with the ICE. I think this one is the Intercity Express. Vohin du willst, wherever you want, all right? Or where you want to. So it's about, they're talking about the offers they're giving you regarding the trips. Uh, that is uh, through all, all through Germany, all right? Auch der Herbst hat seine schönen Tage. So um, Herbst is normally autumn. So also the autumn has uh, its beautiful days. Die November Zone Fahrkarte. So this is the, the, the ticket now. Talking about the, 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 the ticket. The November Zone Fahrkarte. Fahrkarte is the ticket. Kannst du mit deinen Eltern bequem online buchen. So you are able to book it. That kannst du. Mit deinen Eltern. You can book it comfortably. The word bequem. Bequem means comfortably. So you can book it comfortably with your parents online fewer fa fewer for trips from 1 november bis 11 no uh, december so for trips that is uh, from the 1st of november up until 11th of december bochungs a uh, bochung jeweils um mindestens drei tage for dem gewünschten reise datum talking about bookings uh, however be able to book at least three days Three days, drei Tage for them, drei Tage before the, you know, the, the, the travel dates. Das Angebot gilt für eine einfache Fahrt in der zweiten Klasse. So the offer is valid for, the offer is valid for, uh, what do you call it, a single trip. And I talk about uh, in der zweiten Klasse, in the second class. All right. So that, that was about the offer that they're giving us here. Now, let's now go ahead and look at the questions regarding Anzeige A. Oh, just one more adver uh, one more vocabulary. Einfache Fat. Für eine einfache Fat. Now, when they're talking about einfache Fat, they now mean one-way ticket. One-way ticket, okay? 
So look at the question now under the answer I get R. Number one now asks you, Wo kannst du reisen? Wo? Now those are the Beispiele. Uh, these are the ones at the Beispiel. Aufgaben 1 bis 6. Kreuze an A, B oder C. And then Beispiel aus, I mean, Beispiel zu Anzeige 1. That is example for the advert A. Das ist eine Anzeige für Reisen mit. So that is an advertisement for trips with mit dem Zug. It is for trips with the train, okay? And then now the question number one is asking you, wo kannst du reisen? Now, where can you travel? Now, it was clearly written in that in that advertisement that uh, it is uh, durch Deutschland. It is durch Deutschland, right? Through Germany or all over Germany. So, where can you uh, where can you travel to? Uh, that is nur in Deutschland. Nur in Deutschland, only in Germany. How about number two? Number two is now asking you, wann kannst du reisen? Now, when are you able to travel? When are you able to travel? Let's now go ahead and find that out. So the question is simply asking you, when can you travel? Now, it was clearly written all over that it was about Habst. Auch der Habst. Habst. Habs is mostly during the November, right? So when can you travel? Now the answer here should be im Herbst. So number two is C. About number three, wie viel kostet die Fahrkarte? Wie viel kostet die Fahrkarte? Now how much is the ticket? Um, again, this one was written somewhere. Let's just see. Let's confirm that. Where can you travel to? in regards to the receipt that you're given here. Now, it was clearly said here that, uh, let's let's look at choice A. Now, choice A talks about 29 Euro für Deutschland. But choice B is talking about 29 Euro für Europa, for Europe. And then choice C is talking about 29 Euro für Hin und Rückfahrt. Now, it was only said that it is within Germany. That's why the answer is A. 29 Euro für Deutschland. So number three, the answer is A. So number one, the answer was B, B. Number two, C. Number three, A. Okay, let's now look at the other advertisement. Answer gets by. Raus von zu Hause. Lerne fürs Leben in einem Auslandsschuljahr. Im Ausland zur Schule gehen, in einer Familie leben, Freunde finden und eine fremde Sprache fast perfekt lernen. So they're talking about, uh, uh, they're talking about Auslandsschuljahr. That is uh, some, having some school year in some countries abroad. Ausland is abroad. Im Ausland zur Schule gehen, going to school abroad, uh, in einer Familie leben, uh, get to live in a certain family. Uh, Freunde finden, find friends und uh, eine fremde, fremde Sprache and uh, perfectly learn and almost perfectly learn a foreign language. Fremde Sprache. War das immer schon bei uh, dein Traum? Was that always your dream? Dann lebe deinen Traum. Then get to live your dream. Im Internet bekommst du Antworten auf folgenden Fragen. So on the internet you will get... Um, you will get answers to the following questions. Was du machen kannst, what you can do. Wohin du gehen kannst, where you can go to. Wie du es finanzieren kannst, how you can finance it. And uh, wo du noch mehr Informationen findest. And where you will still be able to find more information. So they're talking about um, being able to go abroad for some studies, learn new languages, stay in some family there, you know, find friends and such like things. So that was the advert Svai. Let's now go ahead and look at the questions regarding this and say it's by. So, das ist eine Anz uh, das ist eine Anzeige für, that is an advertisement for, is it for Privatschulen or ein Auslandsschuljahr or Sprachferien. 
Now, that is a good question. Now, and then they put dances to be very closely connected. Now, if you're not careful, you might find yourself quickly marking the wrong answer. So let's look at the bigger picture here. Now, it was not only specifically about uh, a private schulen, that is a private school. They mentioned about being able to go and study abroad. Uh, besides being able to study abroad, um, making new friends. Yeah? So at the very first line, they said, learn a few Leben in einem Auslandsschuljahr, some school year, right? Some uh, school year. So it is, uh, uh, it is now asking, das ist eine Anzeige für, choice B, ein Auslandsschuljahr. So number four, the answer is B. How about number five? Für wen ist die Anzeige? Für wen ist die Anzeige? So who is the advertisement for? Now who is this advertisement for? Now clearly as they uh, showed it here, they were talking about uh, Schuljahr, Auslands Schuljahr. Now this is for students and uh, pupils, right? So it is for für Schüler. Für Schule, number five, the answer is therefore C. Okay, here's the last question here. Mehr Informationen bekommt man dash. Mehr Informationen bekommt man dash. So more information, one will get where? And they clearly say that one can get more information im Internet. So therefore also, number six should be B, im Internet. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, that was the short snippet of the lesson comprehensions that we had here. I would recommend if there's a part you didn't get clearly, please replay this video just for clarity. Yeah? Please go ahead and share this video with your fellow who are also learning German. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Tschüss.